What's up and welcome back, it's your Tech Edit here. In today's video, I'll be showing you QBTorrent best settings you'd ever need to increase your download speed when using QBTorrent. But before we start, our sponsor for this video is cdkoffers.com where you could buy affordably cheap license keys such as the Microsoft Office 2016 that recently dropped its price down to $34. Not only could you buy Microsoft Office keys, but also you can get way cheaper legit Windows license keys. Simply look for whichever license is suitable for your Windows installation. After choosing which Windows license you'll be needing, simply click on the Buy Now button. Then, enter Dude20 to save up 20% on your purchase. You'll be taken to the payment gateways afterwards, and once done paying, you'll immediately receive the key and be able to activate it on on your windows if you want to watch my full review with regards to cdk offers simply click the link somewhere here or there going back let's now start tweaking our qubit torrent to optimize the speed to utilize the most out of your bandwidth first go ahead and open up your qubit torrent and one of the most important one is to make sure that you have updated your qubit torrent to the latest version so go ahead and simply update your qubit torrent for now i will close this one next we can now go ahead and go to tools and go to options go to the connection tab and make sure that the peer connection protocol is set to tcp and utp under the peer connection protocol, you'll be able to see here the listening port. The listening port is where the peer-to-peer -peer traffic passes through. Usually, internet service providers or network administrators block certain ports that are known to be used for torrenting. Hence, whenever you try downloading a torrent, sometimes it is slower than downloading a direct file or even sometimes it is not downloading at all even if the torrent is healthy and by means of healthy the torrent you are downloading has a good amount of active seeders one way to ensure that the port that you are using for incoming connections is not being blocked in any way is to randomize the port number by clicking on the random bottom here if you encounter any slowdown whenever you are using a particular port, that could mean that that particular port is either not configured properly on your network or a network administrator or your internet service provider is blocking that particular port. You can overcome that one by simply checking this use different port on each startup. And also make sure that the use UPnP slash not PMP port forwarding from my router is checked right here. Under the connections limit, make sure that the global maximum number of connections is set to the maximum which is 2000. And under the maximum number of connections per torrent, set that one to 500. Under the global maximum number of upload slots, set that one to 20. And under the maximum number of upload slots per torrent, set that one to four. After that, go to the speed settings and make sure that the global rate limits and alternative uh, rate limits are set to unlimited so that just to make sure that this are not limiting your download speeds. After that, simply go to the BitTorrent options and make sure to check the enable DHT, the centralized network to find more peers, enable the peer exchange to find more peers and enable the local peer discovery to find more peers. And for the encryption mode, set that one to allow encryption and make sure to enable the anonymous mode. Under the maximum active download, set that one to three and under the maximum active upload, set that one to three and active torrents, set that one to five. And you could also enable this do not count slow torrents in these limits, which if ever there are slow torrents that you are downloading at the same time, it will not count to the limit of the maximum active downloads that you have set right here, which is only three torrents at the time. So set this one to 10 KB per second and 10 KB per second on the upload rate threshold. For the torrent inactivity timer, just set that one to 60 seconds. After that, we are going to change one of the most important steps right here, which is to add the trackers on every torrent that you have. So simply go ahead and scroll down to the bottom and make sure to have this automatically add these trackers to new downloads check right here and scroll down to the bottom. Make sure to not replace everything right here and retain all the previous torrent trackers that are already on the list. And just simply hit the enter button and go to the website that I'll be placing on the description which where I have put the latest torrent trackers that we are going to use on this video. So go ahead and select everything right here and right click and make sure to copy that one and minimize this window and then at the bottom again not replacing the previous trackers that we have right here simply right click and paste everything right there. After that one we can now go ahead and go to the advanced options and set the process memory priority to normal and then scroll down at the bottom until you see the uh, validate HTTPS tracker certificates 
and make sure that that one is also checked and hit the apply button hit ok and go ahead and close this window after changing all those settings make sure to restart your qubit torrent and hopefully you'll be able to see a significant amount of changes so hopefully you gained something on this video feel free to leave your comments and feedbacks as to whether you found this helpful also i would appreciate it if you could hit that like and subscribe button to get more helpful tech stuff in the future it's your tech edit here see you in my next videos